once Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, I'll end off with this incident. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa told him to look after some of the wealth that came, the booty. So there was wealth kept on the side of Masjid al-Nabawi. Whatever it was, gold coins or grains, etc. So he was in charge. So at night he sat looking after it. One old man came in the middle of the night and he took a handful of whatever was there and started walking away. So Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu caught him, said, Who are you? Why are you stealing? So he said, Please leave me alone. I'm, poor. I'm a poor man. I'm weak. I have children to feed, family to feed. He made his story. So Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu felt him sorry and let him go. The next day in the morning, the Prophet ﷺ told him, Abu Huraira, what happened to your visitor? So Abu Huraira said, oh, oh Prophet of Allah, he came and he said, you know, that I caught him, but he said he's weak. He's. So the Prophet ﷺ said, that don't worry, he will come again. Be aware, he will come again. So now the next day Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu is awake. They said, the Prophet said he's coming, so he's definitely going to come. So the next day again, he came. This time, Abu Huraira radiallahu caught him and he said, I'm not going to let you go until the morning. I will take you to the Prophet ﷺ. But he pleaded yeah, that, look, I'm a weak person. I'm very old. I need, I need this wealth. So Abu Huraira radiallahu felt him sorry and let him go the second day. The Prophet ﷺ again asked, Abu Huraira, what happened? He said, the Prophet of Allah, he came. But I felt him so sorry. Because of his condition and his weakness, I let him go. The Prophet ﷺ said he'll come again. So the third day, Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu made a firm intention. He says, no matter what, this guy is a rogue. I'm not going to let him go now. So he caught him tight. And he says, today I'm not going to let you go. Until the time of Fajr, when the Prophet comes, I want you to see the Prophet. So he pleaded. He says, I will teach you something. I will teach you something if you let me go. He says, what is that? He says, if you read this, I will never ever come here again. So he said, what it is? So he said, read Ayatul Kursi. Read Ayatul Kursi and I will never come here again. So Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu was thirsty for knowledge. Over 5,000 ahadith was mentioned from Abu Huraira. So he let him go. He told me something good. That if I read Ayatul Kursi, then no one will steal. That's a good thing. So he let him go. In the morning, the Prophet wasallam said, Oh Abu Huraira, what happened to your visitor? He said, Oh Prophet of Allah, I caught him. And I wanted... Him, I wanted to bring him to you till, and wait till Fajr. But because he taught me something, so what did he teach you? He said, he taught me Ayatul Kursi. Then the Prophet ﷺ said, فَقَدْ صَدَقَ الْكَذُوب That a liar has spoken the truth today. A liar has spoken the truth today. So Abu Huraira said, what does it mean? The Prophet ﷺ said that he was shaitan. He was an ordinary human. He was shaitan. But today he has he's taught you something good. Because obviously shaitan flees from the prophets. He does not want to face Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So he said, read Ayatul Kursi and I will never ever come again. So Ayatul Kursi is very powerful. You know, we should read it, recite it, teach it to our children. It comes in a hadith, a person who recites Ayatul Kursi at night. Allah Ta'ala appoints an angel to protect him. In another hadith of Mishkat, a person who recites Ayatul Kursi, Allah Ta'ala appoints an angel to protect him, his household and his neighbors and his neighborhood. So even our neighbors are protected and it is the greatest verse of the Quran as well. Not only for protection but even to mention the great praises of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, we should read Ayatul Kursi. Allah Ta'ala grant us all the tawfiq and the ability of Akhiru Da'wan and Alhamdulillah Rabbil